You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox on Carol OS. That was uh, Ian Hunter, one bit once, bitten, twice shy. Uh, that's the original. Great White made Ian Hunter a lot of money from their version in royalties. Then we had the Colt Love Removal Machine. And uh, I'm here with my guest, Mondo Cosmo. Great intro, Jones. How are you, That sweetie? was great. You? Yeah? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. Um, <clears throat> we get to... Uh, we got... We got you in no rush? I'm in no rush. Okay. You're I got st- all day. You still living in Pasadena? No. The, the, the crappy town next to Pasadena. What one's that? El Sereno. It's not crappy. It's really nice. You still gardening? Yeah. No. Well, sometimes. I got my truck full of Tools. debris. I pulled up and the guy's like, are you, what are you doing here? Oh, here? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm the guest. He's like, no, you're not. He's, was he here, a lot? he was here last time? Yeah, he's really nice. You look different. Well. What, what's different about you? Have you had a facelift? I did. I had a lot of work done. I said, give me the Jonesy. <laughs> oh, man. It nice took, comeback. It took three weeks. <laughs> you look that different, though. I've been working out. But your eyes look different. Oh, well, let's go. Let's take some calls. <laughs> hey, how let's, about them Packers? Let's check the weather. <laughs> how about the 405? <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to the Mondo Cosmo Radio Show. Hey. 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 You sound like you've been smoking. I have. I just started again. I feel great. Oh. I know. It's Cigarettes? Big, yeah, big time. What'd you smoke? Oh, American Spirit Yellow. Oh, oh, yeah, the healthy cigarette. Yeah, the that, cool cigarette. That, <laughs> that's what I used to think. I, I was going from Marlboro Reds to American Spirit and thinking I was doing myself a favor. You were. No way, man. How long for you? Like 18 years? Yeah, 18 years, yeah. I'm up on you. I Google you like it's in my job. Do you, do you do? Yeah, I wanted to hook you up with my mom. I was trying to see if you were married or not. How old is she? She looks good. How old is she? She looks good. <laughs> I'll show you some How pictures. old are you? I don't know, man. I'm trying to figure out how old she is. Let's check that weather. i got a limit. i got a cut What's off. the limit? 40. Oh, Charles. You're 63, man. So what? Oh, yeah. All right, good call. Okay, 45, maybe. Yeah, 40. <laughs> if they're, like, really fit. <coughs> Excuse me. You know what I mean? Yeah, big time. I don't date, though. I don't do nothing. You don't go on dates? No. Oh, man, you would clean up. No, man. You're so charming. I know. You must, I mean, women must just fall. I, I, <laughs> I mean, I don't, do you not enjoy it? I don't care anymore. Oh. I've, I've done so much in my t- time, I just kind of jaded at this point. Just, I just got no interest. Yeah, wow, that's, that's really and I, and I And I won't take pills. Okay. I'm just not going to put that in there just so, you know. Oh, I see what you mean. I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about Adderall. You are talking about Viagra and stuff. Yeah, why would I be talking about Adderall? I don't know. I was just thinking about Adderall. Uh, You must be taking Adderall. (laughs) I love it. You do? Oh, man. You want to write a tune? (laughs) Tell you what, a cup of coffee and Is it speed? I don't know what it is. It's just So it gives you you the ADT thing? I'm just... I can see through time. Yeah. It's terrible. Speed served a purpose for me when I was young. Yeah. For sure. Attention. Yeah. You know... Because I had no attention. Yeah. Whatsoever. But you've been sober for 22? 28. Wow, good for you. 28 years. What was it that made you make a decision? Well, you know, I was homeless. Um, no, no. No, no, that won't, that won't do it. You had no money. That won't do it. I was tired of, of living like that. Yeah. You know, on people's couches, um... That wasn't, but when I first got sober, though, that weren't, that, it didn't end there. You know, I, I relapsed for about six years before the, the coin dropped, you know. But that, that was, uh, you know, it's all good. Well, you look good, Jones. Thank you, buddy. Glad you're around. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I just went to Beverly Hills, Ducati. See, this, this is the quality problems now. I'm painting a bike. And I, <laughs> and I was in there with two other guys talking about what color to paint it. You know, 
and everyone's like, that, that's, that's the stuff. Like re- I just refinance it. Refinancing my house. This is great radio. I hope everybody's enjoying their lunch. What color bike did you get? Well, I don't know yet. Okay. We think we're going to paint it like the same color as my Raptor. Yeah. Lead foot gray. Mm. But then when I left there, I drove, of course, you know, my wheels are turning. Yeah. A million miles an hour. Thinking when any kind bike. of change or okay. anything, yeah. it's, uh, it's not, it's always a nightmare. I'm trying to, now I'm figuring out to refinance my house. All right. That's great. And the, I mean, these are good problems for you. It's quality. It's definitely quality problems. You get, you're saving money by not dating any chicks. Yeah, yeah. The only the only money I have to spend on is that for Astroglide. <laughs> That's cheap though, Astroglide. <laughs> Do you know what Astroglide is? I, I have an idea. What <laughs> Um, is that and, a, that, and that trust sponsor? me, that that don't that can don't come out often either. Yeah, that bottle of a uh, solution doesn't come out a lot. Yeah, someone just sent me a book. Oh, what is it? A Quinn Martin book. Quinn Martin producer. Don't it, know. It's an inside. Is. It's an inside job. Okay. Joke, but I want to thank you, whoever it was. There was no name. Oh, it was on, a fan sent it to you. Yeah, that's sweet. Because I'm always talking about Quinn Martin. Okay, it's like the ultimate Hollywood. Guy from the seventies, he produced all them TV shows. Okay. The um, the Fugitive, Streets of San Francisco. You must have heard it. A Quinn Martin production, a QM production. They would say that before the movie. Oh, if before or the end. Yeah, probably at the end. How old are you? Uh, something thirty something. So you might have missed the boat on it. Oh, the Fugitive, the original. Yeah, TV show. Yeah. He had his, he had his fingers in a lot of p- 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 pies. Anyway. It's good to have you here. It's nice to be back. Thank you for having me. So you do you did a new record? It's almost done. Yeah. Where'd you do it? Um, we did it at this studio in Boyle Heights called Palomino. Oh, it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. So you did it like a proper record this time, not like your first one where you kind of. I was doing it by myself. Yeah. yeah. I got like real quality drummers and some really great guys playing on it and girls. Um, do you uh, like this process better than the first process? It's a little more stressful. Because I, I, I don't like being in studios so much because you're just thinking about the money. And it's time. It's time. It's stressful. But I was so prepared for this where it just we just brought the songs to life. And it was great. So you had the songs. Yeah, I had the songs. That was, I messed up my hand a little bit ago. And um, one of the guys that reached out was having trouble playing guitar. And um, it was uh, Peter from Black Rebel Motorcycle Club. And he was like, I want to help you. And him and Leah came in and helped me on a couple of tracks, and it was really, really great. I really like to <coughs> a rock and roll record. What happened to your hand? You had a carpool tunnel? No, I punched the glass door. I had a freak out. You, you punched the door? I punched like that door, like that. It was terrible. In the studio? Yeah, in front of everybody. Oh, no. They probably, oh, they're, probably, they're probably walking around eggshells around you. Oh, they're so nice to me now. It was bad. I was. It was embarrassing. Yeah. It's okay to have a freak out. It happens. Out. Do you have one now and again? Yeah. <laughs> it's new. It's almost new. I think everyone does, don't you? I. I, I was. Whether it's I was fr- shocked that it, that it happened. It was terrible. Whether it's in front of people or oh. by yourself or when you're out in your car, you know what I mean. And you're at the bank. Well, you don't want to freak out in there. No, at the doctor's office. They'll be on you. Um, but they put me on some medication after that, and I started writing all these great songs, Jones. I was like, Jimmy on acid. What was the medication? It was just antibiotics. But I was just... Antibiotics? Like, mm-hmm. I took a picture of the thing. I went back to the doctor. I was like, <laughs> I'm like, Doc, I'm like, Jimmy on acid on this. Like, what is happening? I'm writing these great songs. And he's like, let me ask you, do you really think it's these antibiotics? Or do you think it's the fact that you finally you know, faced your demons and you punched the glass door. Yeah. I was like, I guess it's that, Doc. Did he ask you, did the doc ask you, are you experienced? <laughs> I don't know, I was really high on the medication. High on, high on antibiotics. I was high on <laughs> Okay. No, but it turned out, it was this terrible <clears throat> thing, and it turned out, you know, if you'd ask me right now if I'd do it again, I guess I would, because it just, I wrote a record that I am just, I'm humbled by it. It's really good. I cannot wait for people to hear this record. It's going to be great. I'm calling it New Medicine. Not Bad Medicine. That'll be the B-side. Bad Medicine will be the B. Yeah. I, I know. 
I know a, an idea for a song. Oh, yeah? Da, 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 shake it up. Bad medicine. There we go. I'll give you 50% on that. Okay. Should we play some music? Yeah. Yeah? This is your choice. This was my choice. The English beat. This is going to make everybody feel better. Is it? Yeah, it's great. Save it for later. And then after that, we're going to play... Um, your pick. Yeah, that, the next one's my pick. Save it for later, and then we're going to go into Talk To You Later. Oh, by, cool. By the two. There you go. Jonesy's Jukebox with my guest Mondo Cosmo. Take it away, son. You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox on KLOS. And uh, with my guest, uh, Mondo Cosmo. And uh, that was free. A little bit of love. Beautiful. Jimi Hendrix, are you experienced? That sounds great. And the New York Dolls, Pills, <laughs> which was an old classic by one of them old blues guys. I forget what his name was. Lead Belly Foot something. That's why I thought your color for your truck when you first said it. Yeah. Lead it's Belly Gray. No, it's not. It's Lead Foot. Lead Foot Gray. It's a different kind of gray. It's a different, it's a different bellies and feet. Different grace. <laughs> Your phone. <laughs> Jonesy's turning his phone off, everybody. Sorry about that. that that's my guy from uh, du Ducati. Ducati, yeah. He's listening. You get a discount if you... Uh, well, that well, we'll see. <laughs> I love Beverly Hills Ducati. Probably the best Beverly Hills Ducati in the world. <laughs> um, the tubes. Talk to you later. And then the English beat. Save it for later. Sounds so good. Yeah, baby. Mm. So listen, you went to Congress. I did. When, I when did you go to Congress? I think it was March. What'd you go there for? The Grammys asked me to go speak to Congress on behalf of... Just you? Or with a bunch of other musicians? There was a couple other musicians there. But it wasn't that many. And I went with my manager, who's Scottish. And nobody can understand a word he says. He's not really got a thick accent. Yeah, but it's not even like an accent that I've ever heard. It, it's is he? Where's he from? Yeah. Like deepest, darkest Scotland? Was he just from Glasgow or Edinburgh? Edinburgh. Uh, yeah, okay. But so it's, it's all. But yeah. I hear people from Edinburgh. I'm like, you don't sound like that. Maybe he puts it on to get attention. Yeah. Well, he got a lot of attention there. I know. Like some, you know, sometimes I'll put the Cockney on if need needed be. When you're yelling at the gardener. <laughs> I never yell at my gardener. Good for you. I, um, I, me, me, I'm sick of saying I. Let's talk about you. Okay. Oh, so, yeah, so yeah. I went to talk to Congress, and um, I, they were like, Josh, we want you to go speak to Congress on behalf of artists everywhere, musicians, songwriters. Who, who told you to do this? The Grammys. I don't what, know who. I why they ask you? I have no idea. I re they're not giving me a Grammy. They're not. I don't understand why they would ask me to do it. Maybe no one else wants to do it. I because I, I, I was worried it's going to come off like um, like Lars from uh, Metallica complaining about Napster. Right. I'm like I, I don't. I'm not going to complain about money. I don't have any, but I'm not going to complain about it. You know what I mean? It's like so. It's they were passing this thing called the MMA, um, where it would give if they play. One of our songs on the radio, we get paid a little bit more than what you're getting paid with the which radio. Is, a penny, so now you're getting yeah, two pennies. Yeah, exactly. Basically, yeah. And um, and you got it passed. Yeah, I did. You got it passed. That's what I've been telling people. <laughs> you are a goddamn I, hero, I, boy. I'm, I'm a lobbyist. Taylor Swift does me like eighty grand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that documentary with Taylor Smith on Netflix? I want to watch it. I just don't know. Taylor Smith? Oh, Taylor Smith. I've seen that one. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I saw the Taylor Swift one, the documentary. It's, it's a show. It's not a documentary. Is it good? I'm not, I'm, I don't know. Okay. It's not my bag. Yeah. It's all young teenagers with their with phones, the phones out yeah. filming the whole thing. And it's a big, uh, after time, it don't even look like there's a band there. Uh, I mean, I don't know. She, is she talented? Yeah, I think she's talented. 
Yeah. It's, it's just, I'm not, it's not my scene. Yeah. But I did watch it just to figure out what's going on with young people, what they like and what not. Yeah. I mean, she's obviously successful, right? I think she can write a tune. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. at the end of the day, I guess. I used to see her hiking. She used to hike. No. It was probably a girl that looked like No, Kelly no, no, Smith. no, no. She was hiking. I didn't know someone, the person I was with told me it was her. She'd hike. She'd walk up the street, up the hill. Did she have like a bunch of people around? No. Her? And then like... A hundred yards. It ain't her. A hundred yards behind <laughs> her, there was some dude who looked like he was an SAS dude. Thing in his ear, like a little beep beep. Yeah, he was like talking in it. Yeah. He had a chip in his forehead. <laughs> Maybe it was her. Did you talk to her? Nah. No, you're not interested in girls. That's right, I forgot. Well, she was hiking. I'm yeah. hiking. Do you hike every day? No, I should do. I'm trying to get back in it. That's it's not good. New Year's resolution. Right. But I think my thing right now is to walk on flat. When I walk up hills, my back gets really aggravated. Okay. Which I like to. I like to be out in nature. Yeah. I went to a great. Uh, I did a video for it the other week, where I'm walking up. Uh, when you were dancing. Dancing. Oh, with man. the moves. When the Michael Jackson moves. I watched that thing like two times. It two, was great. Two times. Yeah. What time? What's You're it? saying like that's a lot. I, that's man, a lot. I watched that thing two times. It I watched great. it twice. That sounds better. I watched it twice. <laughs> I watched it a couple of times. Anyway, it's uh, that was out in Antelope Valley. Do you know that? I know the name. I'm not Lan- sure. Lancaster. Exactly. Okay. And it's an amazing spot. I, I'll tell you where it is. It's where the poppy fields is. Oh. In March is when the poppy fields all go orange. It's, it's, it's like beautiful. this weird phenomenon. Yeah. And there was none last year because there was no rain. So hopefully, there's going to be some. Because it's, it's beautiful just to hang out there. A lot of people go to good little nature hang you know yeah i'm in, into that kind of thing anyway that's it. where i was and you can see for miles and miles and it's normally windy out there hence why they have a lot of them uh the wind turn the thing windmills and solar panels there's like so many of them out that way now because the land's cheap and you buy like a thousand acres and put solar panels on it you ever think about buying out there i i have yeah but you know you you need to have a couple of people there. You don't want to be out there by yourself. No. There, there's you know. Yeah. It's 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 the wild west. Yeah. In places, you know. Yeah. You gonna do a song for a sweetie pie? I'm gonna try. Yeah. What what is this? I'm gonna do a song called Tonight Tonight, and then I would okay. like to do a cover with you if possible. Well, well, not right after. I'm gonna take a break. And, unless you wanna. No, let's let's see how it goes. Okay. Well, right. So this is a. Mondo Cosmo is going to do a little track now called Tonight Tonight. We're going to put a little reverb on it. No, I hate reverb. Don't put any reverb. I told you, don't use reverb. Did you remember that? (laughs) My shot. All I am is all I need In these city boy blues and these suicide queens And I said what I said cause I love you so much Now I'm pulling these wires on this cross city bus Cause tonight, 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 tonight Tonight, tonight, tonight All I want is what I can't take But tonight, tonight, tonight Tonight, all I am is all I know, and it's drug store love for these drug store girls, and I just wanna feel what can never be sold, and I don't wanna die in a nuclear war. Cause tonight, 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 tonight. Every fire's a morning, the morning light But tonight, 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 tonight Kiss me on the lips like a cigarette Press between your thumb and your innocence And hold me to the light like a silhouette And hide me in the shadows of past regrets Kiss me on the lips like a cigarette and press between your thumb and your innocence And hold me to the light like a silhouette And hide me in the shadows of past regrets Cause tonight, 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 tonight Tonight, tonight, tonight 
There's no magic for you, there's a match now far But tonight, 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 yeah tonight Tonight, 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 tonight All I want is what I can't take But tonight, 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 tonight That's beautiful. Thanks, so. You say the kind of tonight like a, a cockney. Yeah, I got, did that for you. You got like an English thing. So now it's a now it's a now it's a now. Nice, thanks. No, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's just you know. You just you just yeah, can't right. leave me as them. <laughs> do you want to try the other one? I do. Okay. All right. I haven't played this before, but I know the song, so hopefully we can. Uh, <coughs> You hadn't seen, you, have you seen the thing on Springsteen on yeah, Netflix? I did, without crying. It's so good. It's, it's, the it's a little long. It's, well, he, you know, he doesn't do anything short. <laughs> you know, every gig he does is like 10 hours long. My buddy saw him in Philly. Uh, he did a four hour show at the Spectrum or something. Yeah. It wasn't the Spectrum, I don't know. And I called him the next day. I'm like, dude, the four hour show, that must have been awesome. You called Springsteen? No. Oh, your buddy? I called my buddy who yeah. went to the show. <laughs> I'm like, four hour show, man. It, Epic. I, He's it, like, dude, it was terrible. I got hungry, the kids were screaming. What's the uh what's the what's the sweet spot of a length of a gig? For me or for Springsteen? Anybody. Man. I, I hour fifteen. Yeah, me. I mean keep hour, them wanting more. Hour fifteen, that's with the encore. Yeah. I'm good with that. I like it too. But I guess he's got die-hard fans. They, they, they'd sit there all night. Yeah. Think, think they're getting their extra money's worth. I don't know how he does it. He's running mm. around like a man. Maybe. Well, I think it's just that he, he's done he, it for so long. He just he's just used to it. But how does his voice hold up? I don't know. He's, he's incredible. He's, he's, I mean, I grew up in Philly, so he's like gospel. I could never afford to go see him. And now I can. And I, I can't because I'm too busy. I, can't, I still can't afford the Broadway tickets. I'm sure he'd like you. I don't know. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm hoping he never hears me because he's going to sue me. What, because of doing this song? Oh, yeah, which is all the songs. Listen, listen, buddy, you just made him some more money. <laughs> I did. With the bloody thing. I, I know, the, the M &M. thing. Yeah. yeah. The M, M, M. The what? What's it called? S and M. S and M. S and M. Do you like that? Hey, little girl, is your daddy home? Did he go away? Leave you all alone tonight. I got a bad desire Cause oh, oh, oh I'm on fire well, Tell me now, baby, is it good to you? Can he do to you the things I do tonight? I could take you out Someone took a knife, baby, at you and door Cut a six-inch valley through the middle of my skull At night I wake up with the sheets soaking wet And a freight train running through the middle of my head Only you can cool my desire Cause oh
Sweetie pie. Yeah, that's beautiful. Should we play some music? Are you going to Duke? We're going to visit the Duke. If you're wondering who that was singing, it's Mondo Cosmo. If you're wondering what show you're listening to, it's Jonesy's Jukebox. If you don't know what station you're listening to, it's KLOS. And we'll see you in a minute after the Duke. Thank you. Ooh, the big gong at the end. Did you hear that? Worthless, them things. Oh. All that work to, to make one gong throughout like a two or three hour show. You can only do it once. That's what I mean. Yeah, I see what you mean. I think a whole song should be just do 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 Like a China symbol. Get your money's worth out yeah. of it. Anyway. You know, like some drummers are like nuts. They have like a thousand drums. Hey, they got drums like the size of a hand oh. for that little the, nut. The rototom things. I yeah. don't know. And then there's a little. Don't say it like that. Like and you don't. You know what that is. Well, I don't know what it is. They're you, like just a stupid little drum that the guy hits. Probably. Aren't they called rototoms? Don't make me sound like a geek. What are them other things like? Like chimes. Like like three little chimes. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's very Spinal Tap. Yeah. You're just making more hard work for a roadie who don't need it. Yeah. No one hears it anyway. We don't have roadies. Just just go crash, bang, wallop. Just go doo -doo, da -doo, doo -doo, da -doo, doo -doo, for two hours. No one cares about all the other stuff. Hour 15. Like, I think the Rush guy is one of them guys, right? He's got about a thousand drums. Have you had them on? No. I'd like to. Yeah. Yeah. I went to their last show. Where was this? This was at the forum. Were you there? Um, and my... <laughs> was you in the audience? Yeah, well, my cousin was doing... You us. and all the other dudes in the audience? Like, I saw, like, Jack Black there. There were some, like, dudes that were psyched it's, it's about only it. dudes. It's only dudes. And um, <laughs> my cousin was doing sound for him. He was, like, the monitor guy or something. And Neil Peart does his final drum solo before the encore. He does a solo. It's It's... Ridiculous, and ridiculously I good. Ridi or? I mean, it's ridiculous. It's so good, yeah. you know. And I see my cousin go up, and everybody sees him. He's got he grabs the drumsticks, and he walks it back. And I'm back by the booth, and he gives it to my girl, the drumsticks, and she doesn't care. Yeah. And you see all the dudes like like oh my oh why God. couldn't it be me? Yeah. And she's like she puts them in her purse. Some bird who would never be here if it wasn't for my boyfriend. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. She couldn't care. It was great. Wow. Just sitting in my house. Yeah, I bet that upset a lot of dudes. Yeah, a lot of dudes. A lot of stories that would have been used. But, uh, I don't know. I don't get drum solo, man. I, I think they were designed so the guitarist yeah. or the singer could go and have a puff or I'll do, do a, a line or a drink or something. Yeah, if we need, if there's like some kind of mishap. You, you turn to the drummer. Go. You know, you give him that. Go. Look. Go. And they love, they love to. No, my drummer does not like to do it. Is he, is he a good drummer, though? Oh, he's a great drummer, yeah. Tolman. Um, but he just, I think he's such a nice guy, he thinks it's arrogant. Well, even when they're done really good and the guys know what they're doing, it bores me. It just bores me. Mm. You know what I mean? It's just, like, boring. What about, like, jazz drummers doing that stuff? Oh, I don't hate jazz. I don't even get it. I think jazz is a lot of people making out they like something they don't even understand. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Especially that fusion stuff. Oh, yeah, I don't even know what that would be. I could be a fusion guitar j jazz player. You just make it up as you go along. Yeah, just, just go. Just play a bunch of notes that are out of tune. It don't matter. It all sounds like you know what you're doing. You're a genius. But can't repeat it, though. That's the only thing. It's going to be different every time. I got great advice when I was a kid um, about playing. He's like, if you mess up, just do it again. And they think, oh, he's a genius now. <laughs> 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 so that's great advice. Well, you, you're still holding your guitar. I, it's my comfort thing. I don't have to play again. It's fine. Mondo Cosmo is the guy who's with me on the box today. Thanks he, for having me. He's, a, he's an alumni to the box. Yeah. It must have been Slim Pickens. I got the call. First week of January. Yeah. Must have been a... Hey, listen. The wells run... You the wells to, run dry. You went to the Senate, baby. <laughs> I you, did. You changed laws. 
Oh, man. You should have seen me going through security. Nightmare. Why? It was just, I don't know. Oh, you mean going in? Yeah, something kept beeping. And no, hang whole, on. Yeah. Did you go into the White House? No. No, no I went into um, I went into the Capitol, Capitol building. Hill. Yeah. And then I took the, um, there's this little train that takes you from Congress up to the Capitol building. It's like, I felt like a Kennedy. It was awesome. A train? <clears throat> it's underground train. It, was like, it looked like a Disney ride, yeah. Wow. It was fascinating. I bet there's a lot of nooks and crannies in there that are fascinating. Oh, yeah. You know, they've got to keep the dead bodies somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. Buried under the tree. I would love to. You know, like, there's all these clearances. Mm -hmm. Like, there's some people who only get a certain clearance. You would get a high clearance, obviously. I would love a high clearance, yeah. man. I yeah. just want to go and have a look. Yeah. I don't need to talk to anyone. No. I don't need to someone to show me a tour. Yeah. You know. I'll, I'll bring you next time. I'm not interested in tours. So I just want to, just let me go. Yeah. I'm, I'm not part of the Disney, all the people that are doing the Disney tour. I just want to go where I want to go. Yeah. For as long as I want. Sure. That will never happen. <laughs> like, I want to go to Fort Knox. Yeah. I want to see if there's actually dough in there. Yeah. Gold, you know? Yeah. Gold. Do you think there's gold in there? It's, there's speculation. I do. Empty. I do. But they, it's surrounded by uh, Fort Bragg. No, Fort uh, Knox. I don't, I don't Fort even... Knox. <laughs> 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 oh, how do I come up with it? Genius. Um, do you want to play another song? I don't know. Because I love listening to you. I was going to do a Dylan cover, but I'm worried I'm going to mess it up because I accidentally double side printed. So I'll need Shovel to turn this over at some point. That's a lot of pressure, though. Do you, do you want to do it when we come out of the Duke? Yeah, let's do that. Because we're, we're at the Duke time, right? Or not? We just right. came back. Five minutes. Come on, let's knock it out. Oh, okay. Do you want me to join in? Or is it oh, too, yeah, too no. complicated? It's a, you got a capo? Oh, do you use capos? I do have a capo. Well, what, is it, what, what key would it be with a capo on? I, I put it on four and I go like this. So that, what's that, knee? Hold on. <laughs> e. E, there you go. Do I know this song? Dylan's song? Uh, I think so, yeah. Okay. You want reverb? No. Okay. Do you want reverb? No. <laughs> well, it ain't no use to sit and wonder why, baby. Even you don't know by now. It ain't no use to sit and wonder why, baby. I never do you so now. When your rooster crows at the break of dawn You look out your window and I'll be gone There's no other reason I'm traveling on But don't think twice, baby, it's alright Turn it on your life, baby Right, I've never known It ain't no use in turn it on your life, baby I'm on the dark side of the road Still I wish there was something you would do or say The child will make me change my mind and stay but we never did too much talking anyway But don't think twice, baby, it's alright We're so lonely, baby Well, I'm bound, I can't tell but goodbye is too good to work out So I just say fairly well But I ain't saying you treated me on kind You could have done better but I don't mind You just kind of wasted my precious time But don't think twice baby it's all
Nice flip, Joe. Thank you. Thank you. Are we going to visit the Duke now? That was Mondo Cosmo playing a beautiful song, Bob Dylan. Can I take it to commercial? You want to say it? Is that all right? Go on. Everybody, this is Mondo Cosmo. You're listening to Jonesy Jukebox. Oh. Uh, it's, jo it's, it's Jonesy's an Jukebox? An Not Joey Jukebox? Hey, everybody, this is the Mondo Cosmo radio show. My guest today is Steve Jones. All right, let's uh, take some calls, and we're going to go to our sponsors first. You listen to 95.5 Class, home of the hits. How about them Packers? <laughs> the Jonesy's Jukebox on Cal OS. That was Mondo Cosmo, Plastic Soul. Before that was Bob Dylan, Let It Be Me, beautiful cover. Rod Stewart, The Killing of Georgie. And Tom Waits, Downtown Train. That actually uh, Rod Stewart had a big hit with. ELO, Mission, it's from the album, a world record. And then we had uh, Mondo Cosmo in the studio live doing a Dylan song, Don't You Think Twice. It's all right. And then we had Mondo and Jonesy doing uh, Fire. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. You sure are, man. Yeah, baby. So what else is on? We're out of here in a minute, but what else you got going on? What's what's next? Like, what are you going to be doing in the next month or so? Well, we're finishing up the record right now. It sounds great. We're pretty much at like the mixing stage. You produced it? Um, Did you have a producer? I'm working with a couple different people. You know who's been helping me out is uh, Butch Vig. Oh, yeah. Um, not so much producing, but just um, been really sweet, like sending them songs. And, and, and is it my phone? I'm sorry, everybody. No, it's not your phone. We, we have, we've been having issues with, the, with this thing lately. It's not you, buddy. All right. But um, Butch Vig, really nice guy. Yeah. Nice guy. Yeah, he's German, right? Looks it. Fig? Vig. V I G. Hey, what's the Vig? <laughs> hey, hey, what's the Vig on this over here? He's from Wisconsin. No, he's from uh, Liechtenstein, I think. <laughs> uh, it's, always, it's always such a treat to come down here. Didn't he uh, do the, uh, what was that band? What? Nirvana. Nirvana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there's somewhere else he did. Uh, that garbage, that yeah. was it. Yeah. What was the name of the band, though? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 man. Oh, oh, oh. Hi! <laughs> and the dance train! Um, so, what, yeah. so the record will come out probably in June. Yeah, and then, then you're going to go on the road. Yeah, we'll tour for the rest of our lives. So it'll do, be great. do you like touring? I love it. Yeah. I got a good group. You, you got, when the last tour you had, did you have a bus? We did on... Mm, if the, if it makes sense, we'll get a bus. But it's expensive, man. You know? Yeah. Um, but the bus, man. Oh, my gosh. Do you have the back to yourself? No, I don't do that. I like to, like, you know, I like to... Make every one feel equal? Yeah, but I just like hanging out with them. They're good dudes. Like, I did a really good job of picking yeah. a band. Yeah. Um, but the bus life, oh, my gosh. Because I've been doing this since I was a kid, so... I've always, I was always in a, like a conversion van, you know what I mean? So to finally get the bus, look out. Yeah. It's awesome. That's cool. Do you like, did you like touring? Touring? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. It's the best. Well, is it? Yeah. You're rocking out every night. People are clapping. Yeah. You got, you know, fans singing along. It, you know what? Like going, you know. It all depends if you're having a good time. If you're with the right bunch of dudes, then I'm sure it's a lot better. It only takes one to not make it fun. Just one, buddy. Let me tell you. Sounds like you were the one. I was not the one. <laughs> <laughs> it may be in their eyes, but not my eyes. Well, I know you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going to knock it on the head. Thanks for coming in, buddy. Thanks for having me again. And, uh,. We'll be back Monday at 12 Bells. Have a good weekend. I think you need, might need your umbrella tomorrow or your, or your Wellington boots or, or your Macintosh. Mm. Not, not your computer, a Mac, like Ranko. Anyway, have a good, have a good weekend, everybody. See, you, see everyone Monday. See you later.